fundamentally, um, the speech signal is converted into an electrical signal, which is then digitized and converted into a long stream of zeros and ones, which are then mapped into signals suitable for transmission over the mobile wireless channel, and then the mobile sends this signal from the antenna to the nearest base station, which uh, eventually uh, connects you with uh, whatever uh, other end of the network you want to talk to. So the fundamental challenge is that um, in, in, a mobile, in a mobile wireless environment, uh, users move. And this mobility actually limits fundamentally what the data rates that we can transmit and the reliability of the, of the links. So when, when the user is, for example, moving around, then all the, all the signals uh, transmitted bounce in buildings, cars, other users, trees. And sometimes these, these signals add constructively and the overall resulting channel is good, but sometimes they add destructively. And it's equivalent to receiving no signal at all. So basically, a system is made more reliable by introducing uh, techniques called error correction or error control coding, which introduce smart redundancy to the signal so that we can recover it uh, at the other end, even if part of the signal has been erased or has been affected significantly by noise. For example, one, one uh, may well think of repeating uh, the signal we transmitted twice or three times, and we would certainly receive, uh, the overall signal would be received with higher reliability, but certainly this would affect uh, the data rate. So in, in communication systems, we employ uh, error correction and error control coding techniques that are significantly more sophisticated than simple repetition. So one, one prime example of that are the Reed-Solomon codes employed in, um, in CDs, for example. CDs are, are designed to uh, withstand um, scratches and, and dents that would uh, happen in normal household use. Uh, so even if I drill a hole in the CD uh, here, depending on the size of the hole, obviously, the CD should still be able to play um, as if nothing had happened. Stripping down science. The Naked Scientists. And the way it does that is by using uh, error control coding. Um, so I think the best way to imagine error control coding is to think of Sudoku puzzles of the site that you have in, in, in the newspaper. And uh, what a Sudoku puzzle is, is uh, you've got some of these um, uh, squares that are filled with numbers and um, some that are not filled with numbers. And you use your intelligence to complete the, the puzzle. So a CD player does uh, basically the same thing. So the data is encoded with some structure in it. And it'll use uh, its machine intelligence to figure out uh, what the missing pieces are. Uh, so imagine a Sudoku puzzle uh, that would have been encoded into the CD without anything missing. And then you've got your holes that make up missing squares. And, and the CD player is going to have to guess what the missing squares are. Uh, and that's the type of. Uh, um, um, operations that a CD player will do to play to, to overcome these disturbances. So when it comes to mobile phones, holes in a CD are equivalent to the signal fading out and, uh, and receiving a very poor signal level because all the multiple signals reflecting from buildings and cars have added destructively. So we basically hear nothing. So this is equivalent to a hole and the purpose of error correction and error control is to recover the original signal even if there have been holes or fades in the signal. So over the generations, uh, the error correction capabilities of systems have certainly improved. And the major uh, step forward was when GSM was introduced because uh, 1G was basically an all analog uh, mobile system which was based on a variation of uh, frequency modulation. While DSM was uh, an old digital system featuring data compression and uh, error correction uh, codes, and now future generations are featuring improved and much more efficient uh, uh, error correction coding schemes that adapt uh, to the nature or to the varying nature of the wireless channel.